Okay, so here I'm going to demonstrate a little test picture that I put together for cleaning and testing injectors. Um, here I have a set of four uh, injectors for a 1NZFE um, 1 1.5 liter Toyota Yaris that I want to uh, test and clean before I ship to a friend on the other side of the world in, in Mauritius. Purchased them off eBay off a low mileage vehicle, so chances are that they're clean already. Uh, but just want to be sure before shipping them. So my test fixture simply consists of this vessel that has a hole drilled in the top where the injector will tightly fit. I also have a little pinhole up there to let the pressure out as I spray uh, injector cleanser through. Um, this little rig is simply a two milliliter uh, wide uh, rather than a normal uh, long uh, syringe and I've just glued basically the uh, straw from the carb cleaning solution into it. So I want to make sure before I do anything with the injector that I've lubricated the O-ring before shoving this on otherwise I could potentially damage the O-ring. So this set of four I've already uh, just lubed them up with just a tad bit of gasoline before I brought them in here. So now I can just simply slide that on and you can see that's a nice tight fit over the O-ring. Now I have my power supply over here. Uh, right now I have it set to 13.6 volts. Um, I could use a battery for this, but uh, using the power supply that will also give me a current measurement. So that also lets me see that the injectors are uh, uh, drawing the proper amount of current and that there's not something wrong with them where they're drawing more than they should. So it just kind of gives me a second round of being able to test. So I have the harness connector from the engine harness from one of these vehicles. So that allows me to quite simply uh, snap this connector onto the injector. And I have in line with it on the uh, positive feed, I happen to have this switch on it so that I don't have to reach over and hit the switch on the supply. So to fire the injector, I simply press the switch. And the clicking that we're hearing is actually the injector clicking. Um, now with the injectors, it's okay to hold them open for a couple seconds, but we wouldn't want to leave one open for minutes. It'll get incredibly hot um, if we hold it open. So this way, this allows me to very easily be able to open the injector while I'm spraying the fluid through, and as soon as I'm done spraying, release it and not have it overheat on me. Okay, so here with one hand, I'm gonna go ahead and hold pressure down on this whole rig so that it doesn't pop off. And I'm going to go ahead and open the injector. And we can see there's quite a bit of brack pressure. As I spray, the syringe is trying to pop up on me, so I do need to hold it down. Uh, but we can see that the injector is spraying beautifully. There's a really nice atomization as the injector cleaner goes through it. So that's obviously clean. If the injector wasn't clean, we'd see it kind of piddling down through. Um, so this shows us that that particular injector is now nicely clean and uh, ready to be shipped. So, and here, even from just that few seconds of, of keeping it open while it was spraying through, the injector uh, base is warm. So that's why we want to use the switch to fire the injector and not leave it powered up for any length of time. 